Hi friends, welcome back to the channel Tech Soldiers powered by DND. Science or scam? Nine things you should know before you sign up for cryonic suspension. It's a trope that is far more common than you think. It has made appearances in films like Sleeper 2001, A Space Odyssey, Vanilla Sky, and even in Austrian Powers, International Man of Mystery, just to name a few. A fatally injured or sick protagonist or character in the film puts the body on ice with the hopes of eventually waking up in a future that can fix their ailments. You guessed it, cryonics. What is our fascination with cryonics? Could humans really create a technology that allows them to cheat death? For centuries, philosophers have discussed and shed light on humanity's underlying anxiety surrounding their mortality. To our knowledge, we are the only species in the animal kingdom aware of our mortality. Dubbed mortality science, this source of anxiety has driven some of the most recent interesting technological projects like Elon Musk's plan to upload the human mind to computers. Cryonics could also help ease our fears. However, we are getting ahead of ourselves. What is the definition of cryonics? For the uninitiated, cryogenics is the study of what happens to materials at very low temperatures. Cryonics is the technique used to store human bodies at extremely low temperatures with the hope of one day reviving them. If you think that there is some distant opportunity for our future ancestors, you would be wrong. In fact, you can sign up to be cryogenically preserved now after you pass away for a hefty fee. However, what does science say about cryonics and is it something that we should be excited about? Let's take a look. It all started with the Iceman Robert Ettinger. The idea of cryonics took root in 1962 when the physics teacher and science fiction writer Robert C. W. Ettinger suggested in his popular book, The Prospect of Immortality, that humans could freeze themselves, preserving each other so that a more advanced medicine could revive them. For the majority of his life, Ettinger was obsessed with his own mortality. In a way, he was always looking for immortality. What exactly is cryonics? Still not sure about cryonics? Let's break it down. As mentioned above, cryonics is the process of preserving human bodies in freezing temperatures with the eventual aim of having them revived when technology catches up. Basically, cryonics is betting on the fact that technology advances to such a point that we can bring people back who have died. Cryogenically freezing someone alive is currently illegal. It is currently illegal to cryogenically freeze anyone that is alive. How does the process work? There are three general steps. There are organizations around the world that will preserve your body for a hefty fee costing up to $150 in total. If you want to get cryogenically suspended, here is what you need to do. First, you would find a reputable facility, sign up and begin paying your fee. On that sad day that you will pass away and are legally dead, an emergency team will rush over to collect you. They will stabilize your body, supplying your brain with enough oxygen and blood to preserve minimal function until you can be transported to the suspension facility. Additionally, your body is packed into ice and is injected with an anticoagulant to prevent you from getting a blood clot. Upon arrival at the facility, the on-site medical team removes the water in your cells and replaces with the special glycerol-based chemical mixture called a cryoprotectant. This substance prevents your body cells from freezing and eventually shattering. Think of it as an antifreeze for humans. The end goal, the medical team wants to prevent your body from forming any ice crystals during the cryonic suspension. Finally, once your body is deemed ready, it is cooled on a bed of dry ice until it reaches approximately minus 130 degrees centigrade. Then it is placed in its own massive metal tank filled with liquid nitrogen at a temperature of minus 190 degrees centigrade until the day you come back to life. Cryonics is still very much in its infancy. Researchers have even frozen a rabbit's kidney for an extended period of time, then unfroze it and placed it back in the rabbit with success. Cryonics is no way to find a solution for eternal life at
The first person to be chronically cryogenically frozen was a psychologist. Dr. James Bedford was the first person to be cryogenically frozen, doing so at the age of 73 in 1967. The psychology professor at the University of California developed kidney cancer that later metastasized to his lungs. Within an hour of his death, members of the Cryonic Society of California retrieved his body, properly preserving the body before taking it to the facility. The body is still in good condition at the Alka Life Extension Foundation. And a lot of people have already signed up to be put on ice. The Cryonics Institute and Alka Life Extension Foundation are constant leaders in their fields, with the later foundation having hundreds of members and dozens of patients. Nanotechnology could make cryonics more viable. To freeze or not to freeze? The cryonics has stirred some down in popularity. The science fiction trope is hotly debated. Emerging technologies like artificial intelligence could potentially make cryonics a more realistic option. However, we are going to have to wait and see. Researchers believe that cryonics could see a major role in 2040. We will just have to.